Hello everybody and welcome back to Thornton Farm. So today I've bought the Amazon Pantera 4502 self-propelled sprayer and this has been bought on higher purchase. So essentially we didn't buy it with, if, if you know all this kind of stuff, it's not bought outright. So we didn't pay any lump sum to begin with. We're going to pay an instalment, so chunks every now and then. And the way we're going to do that is via the ATM machine with the loan. Basically what I've done is I've extended the loan to 180 and we have to repay £5,000 every now and then to eventually cover the cost of the sprayer. Now I've never done it this way before and uh, I think really I'm just sort of uh, experimenting with stuff you can do in real life. You can buy things under high purchase. So I think really for our farm here this should be pretty beneficial. Now obviously the capacity of the sprayer is very big so it's going to cost quite a lot of money to fill it up but the job for today is to spray the fields which we've recently planted we need to put NPK on there so that is nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium so all the nutrients we really need for the fields. Uh, at the moment we don't have any manure or slurry that's because we don't have any cows we will be getting them, I did say we'll be getting them today, but it won't be today because I've realised that this is a bit of a priority and eventually we're going to have to spray the fields with herbicide as well. So uh, yes, yesterday I did use the Fent 1050 for harvesting the fruit and I know it was, it was a bit over the top, in fact it was a lot over the top but the reason why I did it with that tractor is because it was rented and I wanted to use it as much as possible before the rent expires because obviously it's very expensive to uh, rent a tractor so that is the only reason behind it now let's get ready for a very big spray bill this is going to be incredibly expensive So currently, it's uh, set to double C herbicide. We are going to change that right now. We'll just wait for it to finish filling up and then we'll change it. Uh, but yes, as you can see, I think so far it's cost roughly uh, short of 20,000 20, maybe, 18,000 pounds, not too sure. But let's change it to NPK. This will affect the price and it's actually given us some money back so clearly the double dose of herbicide is more expensive than the fertilizer which is obviously a good thing for us it was uh, 16,000 pounds or so now this is the field we're going to start off with and because this has got a really wide working width it's going to be very easy for us to get some decent tram lines here so it will, we'll begin to get it unfolded it is very wide as you'll probably know if you've used it before. Just need to uh, double check the width, wait for it to unfold. There we go. So yeah, I think that is in a good position actually. Do need to turn off the course play. Uh, there we go. Should do, and now we can lower it down and we can begin. So yeah, very costly, it's also not a very fast sprayer so we've got to be quite careful here for example overlapping and not staying aligned with the field is very important we do need to stay aligned. Yeah, it's pretty good Yeah, it's good. So literally we have to do, I think three fields? Oh no, just two, just two. Field 13 and field 11. Once they are done, we can concentrate on the cows and the uh, the sheep and also the pigs actually, because we do have pigs on this map. So there's a lot to do in re with regards to the uh, livestock, but first of all, let's just get this done. I think the spray textures have been improved for 
Farming Simulator 17. Looking at the screenshots which have been released, there is one of a sprayer, and it does look a lot more realistic. So uh, we can only hope, but I'm pretty sure it is a lot better. And really, I think if we were using a, a mounted sprayer, this would take a very long time. So I think this is really the only way of doing it uh, without being, uh, well, if we if we're doing it with a very small one, we'd have so many tram lines, we'd lose a lot of the field. So the self-propelled one is the way forward, and the only way we could have afforded it would be through higher purchase. That is the why, that is why I've done it that way. It isn't a mod. I just went into the XML file. I adjusted the uh, the loan. I didn't do it in game, and yeah, we're just going to repay it over time. So we're still paying for it. It's not cheating. It's just you pay in instalments, so it's easier. For farms like ours, which are always failing. Now in all fairness, the nutrients is actually pretty good in this field. However, because we've already had a crop in here, that will suck some of the nutrients out of it, and you really should put more on anyway. So doing this is the way forward. If we weren't to do this, by the time the field is ready to harvest, the nutrients would be horrific. It'd be like times one, so it needs to be done. Tiny bit of overlap, but it's okay. Right, 37% remaining. We should be able to finish this field, but obviously we'll refill for the next field. Apologies if I sound terrible again today, hay fever. Some days, like I said before, it's not a problem. Other days, it's just unbearable. And yeah, I always sound like I've got a cold, but I don't. It's just hay fever. Whenever I say that though, so many people say, oh, you sound no different. But to me, I sound terrible. <laughs> I really do. I hate it. Um, yeah, I'm one of those people who just doesn't really like the sound of their own voice. I, I really don't like it. But, you know, <laughs> I think that's probably the same for quite a lot of people. The next field is going to be very interesting. It's field number 11. And I was going to download the GPS mod, but because I knew that, that had to be done, I don't think it would have worked too well. So next time we have to spray a big field, I'm definitely going to get the GPS mod and do it that way. I could have done it with this field, but I want to practice in a bigger field. Well, I suppose it's quite a big field. My excuses are terrible. No, I am going to get it, definitely, but in a, well, in a bigger field. It's going to be hard to find. I don't know. I am going to get it, though. I know. That, that excuse was just horrific, I know. Uh, but yes, probably, um, probably in a few weeks, I'll get it. You're probably already typing a message saying, just get it, just get the GPS mod. Right, let's refill. In fact, next time we do fill 13, this is a promise, next time we do fill 13 with the herbicide, I will definitely use the GPS mod. I promise. Uh, that'll probably be a, actually that probably won't be too long at all. Maybe even next week. But again, it's costing a bit of money, but it's okay. Let's go. Yeah, in the end, it actually only cost just over a thousand pounds to refill this. I think before, because we changed the crop type, it sort of got confused, it thought it had cost £18,000 but it actually only cost roughly one to 2000 which is pretty good, I'm actually surprised how cheap that is because I'm sure on Knaveswell Farm when we were doing this it was really expensive, like eight to £10,000 per tank on the small sprayer, unless that was the fertiliser for the spreader. But once again I'm going to try my best here. This will be quite difficult because of those telegraph poles. And I suppose we could go the other way, but it's just not very wide. So that would probably be uh, quite a slow way and quite a wasteful way of doing it. This could be quite tricky. But anyway, 
This is going to make for a very productive crop. Really looking forward to the harvest. It's going to be with a Lexian. And yeah, like I said before, I think we'll probably get the same Lexian as what we had in Sandy Bay because that was so good with the different cameras around the uh, exterior. So that is what we're going to buy. Again, we might get on a higher purchase. It's not cheating because it's done in real life. But we do have to repay it over time. Here we go, this is going to be tough. I think, I think in real life, if you had a field like this, you'd probably just use a smaller sprayer. But I'm not 100% sure. Well, I did it. I decided to do it off screen because it just became a mess. I did record it, but you know, it just looked, it just looked terrible. I was going at all angles, crushing the crops. It looked ridiculous. Uh, but it is possible to do just about but I wouldn't recommend it with this sprayer. Should be okay doing this bit, nice and straight, and we should be able to fit through those, those two gaps there. But once this is done, we will move on to the next job. We will uh, probably, actually, we could probably can buy the sheep. So I think we'll do that today, and then next week we can get straight into it. Uh, it'll be uh, mowing grass for them because they're going to require that. I think you probably can give them silage. We've got some silage, but it's not the best thing for them. So uh, freshly cut grass is going to be the best thing. Here we go. Yeah, it's going to fit. Just about. Yeah, it's not too bad. As you probably noticed, I did speed up times times five. So it won't be too long until this starts to grow. Uh, looking forward to it because this is, I think it's the rye actually, because we did a different crop in here and not done it before. It's new for me. Yeah, rye. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'm guessing it'd be just like harvesting wheat or barley, but yeah, something new. Now we're nearly empty again, so we're gonna have to refill. But yeah, I think you can probably appreciate that you wouldn't be able to use GPS model on here very well just because of the pylons being in here, telegraph poles. Um, but yeah, next time, certainly, Phil 13, GPS. And I'm going to have to um, practice a bit because I've never done it before. Never used GPS before. Great demand at Biotech for silage. Again, we've just had that. That's amazing. Well, we don't have any to sell, but... Yeah, if we do get any within six hours, then we'll have to sell it there. We might just about fit through this gap. There's going to be a bit of overlap. But yeah, looking promising. So I know that spraying at this speed is not the most exciting thing in the world to watch, so I'm not going to uh, do this for any more episodes. Um, so yeah, it's just really just to show you that we've got a, a self propelled sprayer. It's a nice addition. And yeah, you can actually see like a, a, a glittery effect to the field. That must be to show that it's been fertilised. 2% remaining. And then we're going to have to refill. Just for the final bit which is left there. Okay. So yeah, not really too bothered because it's really cheap. Amazingly. Fold it up and let's go. It's quite a narrow tank actually, the way it's been designed. Here we are. I think really having a farm this size without a self-propelled sprayer would be quite hard work. I don't know how many acres it's supposed to be, I don't know if it says in here. Uh, no, I don't think so, but yes, it would be, uh, I don't know, that is a lot of land. Probably a thousand acres, maybe more. And I think we'll stop it at about 70%. There we go. Because we do need to leave enough money for the sheep 
and the cows and if we don't have any income between then and now then we're going to find it very hard to be able to afford any animals at all it's going to be quite careful pretty good fit fitting quite well so when we get to the end we'll put this away I think a, a whole episode of spraying would be uh, a bit over the top but it's one of these things it has to be done and soil mod you can't really run the soil mod without spraying I suppose you could just use a, a fertilizer spreader but it would be quite difficult still so I've got to get these things done in future I'll be doing some of the fields off screen some of them on screen but not too much spraying uh, but yes let's pack this up in a minute or two then go and get the uh, sheep to buy some sheep they're very cheap uh, in uh, comparison to the cows so we should be able to get quite a lot but still wary that the cows are expensive I think they're two and a half thousand pounds each so yeah we can't be uh, we can't be going mad with the money we're gonna have to limit ourselves to probably 25 to to 40 maybe we should have to see how it goes because uh, we do still have a loan to repay so <laughs> yes the money is very important anyway done let's get it folded up taken back to the yard and then we'll jump onto the quad bike head over to field number 10 and buy the sheep and this time I'll definitely shut the gate behind me because I always forget to do that Brilliant. Okay. We'll just find a good parking space for this. It's probably going to be around the back of the yard where I tend to put all the big stuff. That's where the quad bike is anyway. And we'll also have to remove... Yeah, we'll have to unload the, uh, the ride on mower as well. Everything which is on the trailer wants to come off really. I think, yeah, the best place for them is in the workshop. Just on the left hand side there. I like the side of the yard. I think it's, it's a lot better than uh, that side over there. I think it's probably because it's just tucked away. It feels more... Well, it, the machines feel safer from all the burglars which are about. Well, I doubt there's going to be many burglars in Farming Simulator. But, you know, you want to be, to be quite secure. And there we go. So this is the trailer with everything on jump into the uh, John Deere and uh, yeah I think really we should unload it straight into the workshop need to remember to unlock the machines though because they are technically strapped on you can't see the straps but they are locked in place like a bale would be So we'll unlock them there and then lower the ramp down mower first of all I have to make sure we come off straight as well well it was straightish and straight over here best place for it nice and secure and work can be done on it if need be in fact, yeah, someone look at it because it doesn't work unless you've got diff lock on. For some reason it doesn't drive. Ah, that's quite a drop. I mean, that should be better. Now for the quad bike. Yeah, not the best unloading skills ever. But it's off. So yeah, again, I think the trailer can go in there if the tractor will allow it to, because the trailer is obviously a lot lower than the tractor. Might have to pull forward first. Yeah, it's actually a very tall building. That should be fine just there. 
Okay, so jump out the tractor. And let's just quickly head over to field number 10. Buy the sheep. And see if they spawn. They should spawn. But not actually, not bought any sheep before. So we need to make sure that it's all working properly. I'm sure it will be. But let's feel the speed. Okay, here we go. So, this is going to be easy. To buy your sheep, all you have to do is sit on a quad bike. Let's go to market. And let's buy many, many sheep. I think probably 35. And there we have it. Now, let's go for 40. I'm so bad at making decisions. Okay, there. 40. Done. And there they are. The sheep have spawned. That was £12,000. The sheep are obviously much harder to make a profit on because the wool is relatively slow at filling up the wool pallet, but it's still a nice addition to have instead of just having cows. Uh, but that would be the feed trough, water trough, and that would be next week's job. So, until then, thank you for watching, and I'll see you again in the next video. Bye for now. But let's feel the speed. There's the field. Nicely cut. We didn't actually get anything off it, but yeah, it's still been cut. Whoa.